In this video tutorial, I'm going to show how to integrate Premise by CopyBlogger with WP Courseware. Okay, so let's begin. Um, first of all, I'd like to just point out real quick uh, the plugins I have enabled here. And you'll notice that I've got uh, the Premise plugin, uh, which is the current version 2.5.4. Now, at the time of this video, uh, Premise is no longer being sold um, by CopyBlogger. CopyBlogger now has uh, their new membership platform called Rainmaker. Okay, so uh, here I have Premise installed. I've also got WP Courseware, and I've got the WP Courseware Premise membership add-on. Okay, so what I want to do now is go over to Premise, and I want to show a particular setting under Premise main settings. And this setting here is, is critical. Uh, you do need to set this. This is one of the first things you need to do when you install Premise. Uh, you need to get your API key. Your API key can be found in your uh, membership area uh, in the on the premise website. Uh, and once you plug that in here, uh, then you can actually check the box here under uh, membership so that you can enable the membership module. Um, again, this is critical because this is how you're going to create your products to integrate with uh, courses from WP Courseware. So once you have your API key and you have this checkbox selected, go ahead and click Save Settings. And what that's going to do is that's going to enable this section here, member access. And this is this is the area where you're going to be able to create your products. So if I click on products, you'll notice I've got several products created here, uh, product A, B, and C. Okay, so now let's go down to training courses. And as you can see, I've got several training courses already created here. And so now what we want to do is connect these courses with the products and to do so uh, we're going to click on premise membership now this option gets enabled when you install the integration add-on okay so now you're going to you're going to see in here we've got um, our, our three products listed that we've created from premise and you'll notice here in this column we have um, all of our courses and you'll notice that some of these courses are actually check marked and highlighted in green and so Basically what that means is course C is assigned to product C, course B is assigned to product B, and course A is assigned to product A. Now in order, in order to uh, assign a course to a product, you simply uh, just go in here to edit course settings, and you can pick your, your courses, whichever ones you want, uh, and then you just click save settings. So I'm just going to leave this one set as A, uh, and since that was product A. So now let's put everything together and let's actually make a purchase and uh, that way we can see how someone actually gets enrolled into a course um, but before we do that I'm just gonna go over to the user screen real quick uh, just to show that I've got only two users in here um, and the first user is already assigned into course A and the second user is assigned into course B so now what we're gonna do is actually uh, make a purchase okay so I'm, gonna, I'm opening up uh, a different browser here and I'm going to click this big buy now button. Okay. Basically, that's going to send us to the checkout for product B. So I'm going to make a purchase for product B. So I'm just going to insert some bogus information here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and pay with PayPal. And just for, for the test website, I did configure a, a PayPal Sandbox account, so um, that's what we're going to be checking out with. Okay, so looks like we've purchased our product successfully, and now we should be uh, forwarded back to the website. Okay, so this is critical here. We do need to click this complete order and create my account. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to our other browser and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this user screen and what we should see is a new account uh, with the new account called Jim and uh, he should be enrolled into course B. Okay. So Jim is now enrolled into course B. And what we can do is actually I can take you over to 
uh, the orders area under uh, premise member access. And you'll notice we got a transaction here that was created uh, by Jim for product B. However, there's one last function I'd like to show you. Um, if we go back down to training courses and premise membership, and let's just go ahead and pick product B because we have two users that are already uh, associated with product B. And so let's, uh, let's explain this second option here, this option here to retroactively assign uh, courses to your current customer. So basically we have two customers that have purchased product B. Now let's just say that later on down the road you created a brand new course and you wanted everybody who purchased product B to be enrolled into that course. Um, so basically what you would do is uh, go ahead and check your, your new course here. So this would be the extra course for product B. And <clears throat> we're going to select the yes option here. We want to retroactively assign everybody who has purchased product B into this new course that we've added. And so we're going to go ahead and click save changes. Okay. So now if I go back to the users area, we should have uh, two of our users uh, enrolled not only into course B but also into uh, extra course for B and so let's go back over to our users area and you'll notice we've got our two users here who had purchased product B initially and now they're enrolled into extra course for B okay so that concludes this presentation on how to integrate premise by copy blogger with WP courseware thanks for watching